120. This is another three minute technique. We have a couple things going on here. Let's cover them. They have a left hand interval study and a right hand interval study. They're basically the same as just for each hand. In the left hand, you're here, you have an interval of a second. And then again, so we have melodic intervals and we have harmonic intervals. A melodic interval is like a melody where the notes are one after another. So this right here, that's a melodic second because the notes follow each other, they're after each other. And the half notes, harmon, harmonic, it's like harmony where you're hearing multiple notes at the same time. Well, it's a little misleading because even in a melody you can hear multiple notes at the same time. But the point is they're being played at the same time and that's called harmonic interval. So we have a harmonic interval. Melodic, harmonic. That's a second. And a third. And then a fourth. Fifth. And that's fun. I could keep going. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. How big is your hand? Tenth. In the middle of the page, right hand gets the same thing. And then the second line is of each of these is they're all melodic. And here I'm rotating the hand here. I'm not using the fingers to try and do it. I'm rotating the hand because I can even rotate it when the fingers are next to each other. And left hand got it too. You ought to do it, you can do it both hands together if you want, just start there. You don't have to play those notes right there. I, see, I moved the right hand up an octave because it's easier to hear when the hands are a couple octaves apart, is, is all it is. It's just... So, we're at that one. And then the second line of each of those is... Put in the accents and the slurs because that's important. It's part of the training, it's part of the technique. So it's accent, come down, boom. It's a little extra oomph. And then come up, it's two note slur. And then chord, just play the chord, you don't have to play it heavy, just and then accent. of those you accent the, each note you're coming down up down up down up and you're re rotating at the same time oh there's nothing confusing about that mm -hmm. like so I'm not playing the chords at the end I hope you can get the chords at the end whatever they are and that's part of this good technique I like to use scales for this kind of thing, but the book is using this and that's fine. And you haven't really been introduced to scales yet, but you will be soon. As far as keeping your hand rounded and fingers curved, yeah, you should be relaxed. Whatever the natural hand position, that's the hand position. Don't intentionally curve these fingers because that create you when you do this you can feel tension in this part of the arm when you do that. You don't want tension, you want to be relaxed. Now at the bottom of the page. We have an uh, interesting thing going on. It's a, part of that independence of the hands you have to have. You have to be able to do different things in each hand at the same time. In the right hand you have half notes. You're going to connect all these together. I'm just shifting weight from finger to finger finger. Just going on down, 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 down. But in the left hand we have rests. Rest. They say lift. Well, yeah, you got to lift up off the rest. 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 At the same time, so you're holding the right hand down, not the left. Rest, 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 rest. Like so. That takes a little bit of time to get a hang of it. And you really ought to reverse it and do the, play the half notes in the, and then the quarter notes in the right hand. So it's that way. Rest, 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 rest. Like so. So you're doing it with each hand. You don't want to always get in the habit of one hand doing one thing and another. They have to be reversible. So, so something to think about as we go through.